What's up guys, my name is Cody, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be taking you through a live gameplay commentary. I wanted to show you my playbooks at the front end. I'm using Arizona on offense, and I'm using Green Bay on defense. And what I wanted to do today is walk you through how to use or really give you kind of a final product. So what does the offense look like at its peak? What does it look like? Um, right now we're doing a series, and if you haven't checked out any of the videos, be sure to head over to the YouTube channel, hit subscribe, and you can check out all of the other content that I have, all of the breakdowns. I talk about what I believe to be the best passing routes in the game. And the way I play is a little bit different, I think, than the way most people play, at least on offense. Um, because I use the Arizona playbook and I run a lot of stuff from the spread formation, but this is based out of the air raid offense, which was made famous by, uh, how mummy and Mike Leach over at uh, Kentucky and then at Texas tech and it's kind of gone mainstream now, but basically it's an offense that really stretches the defense horizontally and vertically and talks about using the whole uh, length of the football field so that the defenders have to defend the whole field. But anyways, this is kind of the full scheme. I wanted to do a video just so that you can kind of see what everything looks like when it's all put together, what the runs look like, because I haven't gotten into the runs yet. Um, I've kind of waited a little bit on... Uh, waited a little bit on the run so far, but we'll be getting into that shortly here. But these are the two sets that I typically will use when I'm going to run the ball from a no huddle perspective. You'll see here, I don't go no huddle right out of the gate, primarily because I'm going to be setting up my audibles, setting up my hot, setting up my substitutions and all that, all that stuff. And I don't want to have to burn a timeout or lose yardage to do that. But typically what I'll do and this is just, you know, if you're playing online and you have no choice, right? If you're playing competitive, you can just set your stuff up. But you'll see what I do a lot of times is I will, um, I'll just run the ball the first play. Because running this year is, I mean, it's so effective. And, you know, it, it never hurts to run the ball. But once I've got two or three sets set up, then you'll just see throughout the rest of the game, I'll, I'll set everything up kind of take, you know, one formation a session. And obviously you can pause the video if you'd like to see what all of my audibles are from all of my different uh, formations. And I'm going to be going over every single formation in this playbook that I use. So you will be getting full breakdowns for that just by hitting subscribe to the channel. Uh, you can check that out as well. But there's the mesh. There's the best play that I love. So normally what I would like to do, especially if I was just running this offense, you know, just, just competitively, if I was in a competitive game, I would be going no huddle right there. But I want to get my, um, my setup, rest of my audible setup so that I can be kind of set up for success here. So, uh, the gun doubles, I should use a lot more. I don't use it nowhere near. Um, nearly as much as I should. And actually, I'm going to change that. And I'm going to have to take a delay a game. Shoot. I wasn't paying attention. See, that's what I'm talking about. I get a little... And I wish it was just common courtesy. Like, I wish you could pause the game and just set up your audibles real quick. But for whatever reason, in this year's game, you, you don't get that luxury. So, one delay a game is not going to kill me. And I think I'm completely set up at this point. Let me do my bunch here. Single back. I'm completely set up from a passing perspective. I'm trying to set the runs up here. Yeah, here we go. All right, so here we go. So we're good. So I'll go no huddle the entire game from here on out. Here he's showing cover three. Showing some pressure off that right edge. And just drag him across. And you'll see Tyreek. So he's got a superstar cornerback over there, Jair Alexander, who's pretty good. Um, so I want to be a little bit careful when I'm throwing to his side. Not there you see there's that mesh route that we love, love, love to throw. And on the first drive, you'll see I'll put a heavy emphasis on running that. Here's another way I run it. And there you see, there's that check down. So he usered the um, the cross, the crossing post route from Tyreek. So I was able just to 
just to check it down. There's a hit stick. Don't like those. I have a feeling, and this is just kind of intuition that you sometimes get, but I have a really good feeling that he's going to go to cover two. So I'm going to slip on over to the cluster. Just did a breakdown on that. I hope you guys found it useful. But I'm going to go right into the mesh post here. There it is. See how he's not really paying attention to that read. And let's see if I can catch him. Got him. So there, I think he just got turned around a little bit on his user. Let me check and make sure Tyreek Hill's still in the game. Yep. Okay, good. I think Robinson came in, but it might have been because Tyreek Hill took that big hit. But there you see, there's the offense, and that's looking a little bit better. I did the first recording and um, could not really, just did not really do really well offensively. wasn't a good example to share, but I did, did get uh, destroyed. There's that route right there, man. I'm telling you, that little running back route in the red zone is really, really effective. Really, really effective. All right. So defensively, I'm using the Green Bay Packers playbook. And what you're going to see is a scheme that is in rough cement, meaning I don't really know if it works that well. I'm trying out a lot of new stuff on defense. None of it really was origi originated with me. So if you just Google what people are doing right now out of the 335 wide nine for run D, uh, I'm sure that you'll get some good good uh, feedback. I've kind of expanded on it just a little bit, kind of made it my own, but uh, I don't. I have not been able to have a really consistent run D all season long. And this is something new I'm doing. I'm doing this like a little inverted, inverted cover two. We'll see how this goes. There you see, there's the pressure. All right, so here I'm going to fake it. Don't have any of my set, my uh, adjustments set here. I think I got him. I'm going to go backwards just so I can get you some more reps with the offense so you can see it. There we go. Just get more spacing. So he's showing a cover three. So the mesh should be able to just work and there you see he comes out of there he did a good job of kind of faking like he was going to get my eyes to jump which he did exactly what he wanted to do but we were still able to I'm click on drive here there's Tyreek doing what Tyreek does that was kind of cool as you see here not lost on me that he's running that press so I'm gonna go to stick and I think I'm just going to roast him deep, Mahomes. And that's where Tyreek just comes in handy. But that play out of stick, out of that, that's why I went run the stick there. That press animation, if he if it's a fade like that stick route, that they can't press it. So if he's in cover two cloud, if he's in cover two squad, if he's in cover two man, no matter what he's in, they really have, um, they just have a hard time pressing that route. So. Uh, here he's showing pretty heavy blitz, so I'm going to try to make sure that we block it up. There's that motion out route against man, and that's just because I knew he was in a man call that I ran with that specific play set up, because it, it looks a little different than most of the stuff I run out of that playbook or that formation, but motion out corners, just I mean, they just beat man. Pretty much corner routes beat. Everything except for cover two, but especially that Z spot corner, because it's basically a, sh a really, really short slant out, or not short corner, so it's almost like a slant out. Anyway, he's going to go 
gun spread. And I um, I'm gonna go DB fire two. Run a little screen. I like just doing the two man. I don't know why that happens. I just don't understand that. I think it's because I didn't pass commit. There we go. There it is. So right there, what, I, what I'm going to advise you to do is if you know they're in a passing situation, make, 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 make sure that you pass commit. And it still didn't work. Dang it. I don't know why that happens to me. I feel like most people's cover two clouds, they just destroy my attempt at doing what he just did. My cover two clouds get eaten alive. Obviously, I got that interception on last drive, so I can't be too mad at it. Back to the offense. But yeah, so hopefully... This just gives you a glimpse of what the final product can look like. There's a couple formations that you haven't really seen me run yet, um, or I haven't broke down yet that I'm going to break down in depth. Um, but this this playbook is very deep, uh, at least from a passing perspective. And I I mean, there's no way that in this video alone I'm going to get into all the plays. Here he presses up again. Um, Mahomes. Just be in my homes. I should have slid there. Let's see if we can't catch him napping here. Nah. Gotta let that. Gotta let the. Um, it is absolutely critical that you let him settle up. Here's my favorite play in the game, though. Curl wheel. Oh. Man. I don't know why he didn't press him. So here, we got a little bit of a ball game. I want to go to the drive play. The drive play is probably the play that I'm most comfortable with because I feel like it's the play that has the most amount of, like, real options. I mean, real options. There you see it. There's the drag. And I think it's just mainly because I love throwing drags. <laughs> I mean, I just... And that might be why I like mesh in general. But... I'm going to go to the post play. I need... And I'll be on it. Be the first person to tell you that as good as the spread is, oftentimes I will make the mistake with this offense of sitting in the spread all game. And I just want to encourage you... Once you get the whole scheme and once you understand everything that I'm doing, that you make it a priority to make sure that you're running the um, the cluster, because the cluster is could be its own could be its own scheme. I mean, it is really really um, affected. And there you use the principle: if he's even, he's leaving. He goes one on one over the top. Where would I get him? I think it was cover four or cover zero. But that's why I like the play drive so much in combination with mesh. So here, same kind of thing he did that last time. So you're going to see I'm going to go with a little man beater. I'm going to send five out. Mm, dang it. Didn't hit it quite as quick as I should have. and I should have blocked somebody. He sent six. 
Should have blocked the running back. Okay. So I think I've got my team. Oh, I don't have them. Not even close. This is why I almost say cover two this year is better ran, not pressed. I just don't see the value in pressing up. I see the value in bringing the safeties down, but not in pressing their corners. So here I'm going to just bring him back. So I can get you some more looks at the O. Now this play right here that I'm going to go to out of the bunch quads uh, does not get enough love this year. That little read right there is just gorgeous. That that's an old faithful play, Madden history. But see, when you start hitting him with all this stuff, like it's just hard to keep up. Like, then you hit him with something like that, and that was nasty. But you see there, Mahomes doing Mahomes type things. But it's just he's gonna, he's gonna get to a place where he has to just kind of guess. I mean, he just doesn't have, doesn't have it. This play right here is really effective, and I haven't talked about this bunch, but when he base aligns like this, because he's sitting pressure, this is one of my favorite plays for blitzes. Because if they're base aligned, it's just going to take them. I mean, it's just literally, it's just one of those plays, like if they're in a base aligned defense, or they're kind of running that strategy, it's really difficult to, to run that against something like this. And then this is like perfect territory for Curl Will to just eat him. And there he leaves his, leaves his flat wide open. Williams comes in. That's the pressure. And what happens is they start to get really frustrated and they just blitz the crap out of you. Literally just blitz the crap out of you. All right. So right here, I don't want to make the same mistake I've been making. i got to be careful not to run out of time. So I'm going to go to this. The reasoning... It's because I can block the running back. I can slide protect. And I can slant that guy there. But I got one-on-one -on -one with Tyree Kill on the outside. He goes ahead and uses him. And you see the mesh just opens right up because he's unbumpable. And unbumpable drags destroy man to man. And that's, like I said, I think I need to run a little bit more doubles than I currently do. There's two really good plays out of the doubles. It has the same mesh that we run from spread, but it doesn't have a good it doesn't have a good version of drive. It has a it has a, a, a similar drive, but not something that I would say is really. So this is what I'm talking about with the DB fire. If you just leave them, leave them like that right there. I think they actually cover better. And there you see him just getting a, as I say that, I just get lit up. So I'm starting to really think, because you have to mainly move them in anyway just to blitz them. And I'm almost thinking it might be better to leave the corners back, especially if you know they're going to pass, which is kind of the primary reason that you're going to run this. And I'm going to let him score so I can get the ball back. Hopefully that'll keep him encouraged to keep playing. So here, just going on a little cover two blitz. And we're still up by three scores. Should have went for two. Should have went for one. We're up by ten. I think we're up by seventeen. Yeah, if we were up by sixteen, that would have been better for him. 
So offensively, I can't remember what I was talking about. Oh, with the doubles. That's what I was talking about. So the doubles has this other uh, has a couple of plays on it that are really. You have two doubles with this angle smash play. That corner route that you get from Nicole Hardman's pretty good. Um, streak the tight end. We'll see. But the safety will oftentimes go after the running back, as you just saw right there, and he's right behind him. But I wonder if the doubles has a play. If they have a, a play similar to drive. I haven't looked at it in a while. I don't think they do. Yeah, that was why I don't like the doubles too much. The drive is just such a powerful play. And one adjustment that I've been learning is if you if you put the tight end on a fade, it's actually a little bit better for the play. It runs like more of a traditional four verticals. That was a really bad read. Really bad play call and read together. So when I talk about um, stick wheel here, now you see how they're base aligned? And there he fixed it. So I'm going to go fake screen. We're looking at Cole Hardman. That was a crazy play. He went off sides there. Only problem is we're not going to get the time back. I should have just thrown it away. I didn't realize he was off sides. We'll just take our three. But if they're based on line like that, you can throw that little bubble screen all game long. What I was going to do there was I was going to, I knew he was going to go cover zero. So I was going to hit a wheel route. What I should have done is gone to the cluster and ran verticals because that's Tyree Kill on that wheel route instead of um, Nicole Hardman. J.R. Alexander is kind of throwing a little bit of a wrinkle in things, though, because I don't want him to get, um, I don't want him to be in the play as much as possible just because it makes it easier because when they have superstar abilities, they can kind of, they randomly jump things. They just, you know, random things kind of happen for them. So. And so defense is actually looking pretty good. But basically what I do is I run 3-4 odd, 3-4 bear, nickel 3-5 wide, nickel 2-4-5 odd. And then I'll go back and forth between all those dime formations. And a lot of it depends on my personnel. If I'm going four down linemen, then I'll typically... I just don't understand that. He's in a cloud. He's literally in a cloud flat. Right? What a catch. So this, to me, um, Tampa 2 with a spy, just going straight up cover 3, almost makes more sense to me now in this year's, at this point in the game. But it just depends on what the opponent's doing. If he's blocking people, you know. Here, I should not have gone press. But there, you're going to get one free. You're basically forced him to throw it within two, three seconds. And you got to understand your defense, too. I mean, what's going to be open against cloud, vertical, hook, and all that. But basically what's going to be open is the immediate streaks up the middle. And that's that's pretty much it. They can't run an in route when you run the DB Fire 2 if you get the pressure. Now, if they pick up the pressure, right, like Skimbo, he'll run deep corner and he'll run the in route on it. And he'll throw that in route a lot. But that's because he blocks so many people. 
if he didn't block anybody. It's like, here, I know nothing that left guy can do can beat me. So I'm just going to man him up. And, of course, he beats me as I say that. That's so dumb. Dumb, dim, dumb, dumb, dumb defense. I think he did. He, I can't look back and see if he blocked anybody. There's a screen. Uh, defense is doing too. Look at the defense is trying to do a little too much here. Let's see if he goes inside zone. Dang it. You got me. What I should have done there is I should have audibled to something out of a dime or something. So 3-4 bear to me. One of the better goal line defenses. I typically use her this guy. Um... As I say that, and I get dotted. Dang it. All right, so offense has to kind of put up or shut up here. If you're watching this and this video is helpful to you at all or giving you any insight, I just encourage you to hit that subscribe button. That way you can get notified for the rest of the scheme. And hope. And then, like I said, I'm going to be doing in-break tutorials. I've already done the spread. I've already done two or three plays from the spread, and I've done two or three plays from the cluster but I'm going to be doing more tutorials um, for the rest of the rest of the package. This play right here, Shell Cross, is kind of one of the hidden gems, I think. There's a lot that you can really... This play just basically, I mean, a X, X is always open for me. Like, always. Like, I can pretty much count on it, that he's going to be open. Because the way that the, way that the game defends the post route to... Um, Sammy Watkins basically just nah, that's crap. That's crap, 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 crap. Um, but basically the way the game defends that route, he's almost always open. And Tyreek Hill's gonna have to get on his horse and he gets him. Oh yeah. Ah, bad stick. I could have had a touchdown. But so I'm going no huddle. I'm noticing he's press, 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 press. And you'll see right here, I think I got him. Ah, shit. Or, no, I didn't. Uh, Mahomes. Why shallow cross, I'm telling you. This play is really effective. Just because of how simple it is. And I've just always... The the way that that the way the game just I don't know why the game does it like this, but the way that the game defends the post route to Sammy Watkins, it takes like three defenders. I mean it takes the cloud flat, the mid read, and the I mean I don't know why. But for whatever reason and I've just never seen a game where this is more so the case. But it's always open. Always. And there he uses it. So here, I think he's going kind of man or whatever, but the mesh should be wide open. Having some trouble snapping the ball. There you go. There's the mesh. Doing its thing. Haven't ran the ball. I literally ran the ball one time. And then that was it. <laughs> um... So here, same kind of thing. I'm just going to go Z spot shake. I'm going to block a guy. Block the running back. And then what I do is I just ID whoever's going to come in on that side. The running back will typically block somebody this year. And we got just shamed. 
so far the red zone is not not where I'm doing too hot. But you see that shallow cross. I mean, you mix that in. Why cross? I have not figured out yet how to get the mid read. And this is just something and maybe you guys can help me with in the comments. I haven't figured out how to take care of the mid read zone. So a lot of times what people do, just call cover two on Y cross. And they pretty much got you. And that's me. I got him. Yep. There we go. But you see what I'm saying about cover two? I just think it's the best base coverage this year. Especially if you get the if you play it where the corners are back, like you don't press out of it. I've just I've just seen it over and over again this year that I think it just gives such a good reward. Cause they play a little bit just a little bit more back. But then I guess you get hit with stuff like that, but But you just mix your blitzes up. See there, he puts the running back out. We're able to get him. But then he's going to go no huddle. And so now we're going to mix him up again. And I've, I'm telling you guys this year on defense, if you swat the ball... If you use that mechanic, you will literally take away so many. Cover five. And the deep out got me. Dang it. There's that pressure off that left edge. Oh my gosh, you gotta be kidding me. This guy has got some really good... Um, There we go. It'll contain it. So run D, he hasn't really ran much. He's ran in the red zone, I guess, a few times. But run D, I'm in, I've been doing the run D out of the um, 3-3-5 wide. Hopefully we get one more possession for you. Hopefully this is helpful. I mean, hopefully you'll see... You know, all the things that you can do. Oh, he stuck it right in, man. Snuck it right in on me. That's just bad, 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 bad defense. All right. Um, and actually, I think... Like, and we'll just swat it. Let's see if it goes on side, on side. I don't know. Hey, also, real quick, if you guys are, um, if you guys are listening, when you, I've, I've noticed some people that they're able to basically do an onside kick. Like it, it shows onside kick, but then when they come out, they kick it deep. Uh, if you guys know how to do that, if you would please uh, drop that in the comments. That's a really good little little strategy for special teams. So if any of you know how to do that, I'd love to to learn from you guys in the in the comments of this video.
But all right, third and 27, or not third and 27, um, 39, 27 here, showing that. I'll show you Y cross here. Again, Y cross needs a little bit of work, but. Oh, shoot. Almost threw a pick. <laughs> Want to cover two. Go back to Old Faithful. Drive. And just cut it off. That's what I'm saying about this year. Like, if people were smart, I think you would see a lot more people take the safety. And, like, I should do it too. But more people take the safety and bring him down. Mahomes. Dang it, that would have been a would have been an amazing throw. I knew he was in cover zero. Watch uh, McCole Hardman on this play if he's in cover zero or or man. Um. Yep. Oh, dang it. Dang it, 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 Oh, he went over Storm Brave again on me. Had McCall Hardman wide open. There it is. That's such a powerful route. Go to the cluster. Oh, Mahomes. I hate, I don't know if you guys have experienced that when they do that, where they load up like that. It drives me crazy. I was trying to hit that cross from mesh post, but, uh, but anyways, guys, I want to thank you for watching this video. I hope that something in it helped you, and I hope you see a little bit about what you can really do when you put all the scheme together. And we might get the luxury of running one more play. Uh, we're gonna run the timeout. So, anyway, thanks for watching, guys, and make.